going on guys? My name is Rumba back again from Rumba Reviews here with another reaction to Demon Slayer episode 21. I do apologize, I'm a little bit late. I just got off work and I went in 12 hours ago. I had a 12 hour shift. Normally I would have been knocked this out like maybe an hour after it came out latest. But, you know, um, it's currently 12.18 Pacific Standard Time. So I'm a little bit late. Um, it'll probably be up a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to apologize as to why I'm a little bit late. But... I am ready to jump into this episode. A lot of people, people in my Discord were like, hey, yo, man, this is a really beautiful episode. This is a really good episode. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, don't know what a beautiful episode would be, uh, but judging by against corpse rules, oh, that's right. I had a feeling that the fact that Tanjiro has Nezuko, and Nezuko's a demon, it's kind of going against, you know, demon slayer rules. Possibly. But we'll see what happens. Maybe Giyu is actually going to be like, hey, no, I kind of saw what happened, and uh, yeah, she's kind of cool. Uh, and yeah, and uh, maybe, who knows, uh, and Shinobu. Yeah, she, she she a little bit scary. A little bit scary. But yeah, we only have four more episodes, including the... No, I take that back. Sorry, we have 26 episodes. So we got seven more episodes. Am I totally... We got five... Six? If you count this one? I don't know. I'm really tired, okay, guys. I'm still trying to. I'm like, I have. I'm like almost completely done with this coffee, and yeah. So yeah, just a little bit of a warning. <laughs> I'm extremely tired, but I still wanted to at least get this up as fast as I can for you guys. So guys, without further ado, let us watch episode 21 against corpse rules. Starting in three, two, one. Let's jam. It's a snowball. See, I don't have. We don't have snow, and oh, it's Rui. Okay, so we're gonna get a backstory on Rui. It's the same hair. It's gotta be Rui. Is he like a sickly? I'm guessing he's sickly. Yeah, I'm. I'm totally assuming that this is Rui. He has the same hair. I mean, yeah. Oh, and a lot of people explained, um, yep, there you go. He is a sickly kid. Alright, so, um, hold on, let me go mute the actual thing really quickly. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a feeling that's what the case was, where, um, why he just, like, fell right into the snow was because he was sickly, but uh, people were pointing out, like, in episode 19, um, after he cut off the guy's head, um, Rui's head, he, Rui was able to detach it himself. Um, and the reason why Giyu was able to cut his head off is because he did it so fast that Rui wasn't able to decapitate his own head. But yeah, another, another uh, commenter also said that because of that, this is showing how the antics are making these 12 demons so fearsome of an enemy if you think about it um the fact that they can do these crazy things like decapitate their own head so they don't actually die is ridiculous and it's really damn strong also i i saw giga's video talking about this and yeah absolutely like this is still probably one of the most beautiful shonens. In terms of beauty, it's the most beautiful shonen I've ever seen. Not the most hype. Damn close up there. All right. Turn up just slightly. I'm guessing we're gonna see more of the corpse this episode, like the cor oh, the demon slayer corpse. That's gonna be really interesting. So, is it like a weak immune system, possibly? Oh! Dude, you look better with your Michael Jackson hat. And because he gave him his blood directly, he became a 12. So he ate his own fucking parents? Oh, 
Guessing that's his brother. Who did he kill? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Very interesting animation right there. Very interesting. Tried to kill him. And it was ineffective. That's fucking sad. That was legitimately sad. That was a really powerful... Severed the string. The bond. I know Demon Slayer is still going on, but damn, I kind of want him to get his... Uh, I can't wait for Muzan to get his own. Yeah, for... If you guys are a manga reader, let me know, like, how many have been taken down. That's not really much of a spoiler, just don't tell me who it is. But yeah, just let me know how, like, how many are left, I guess. This goes best uh, moto. <laughs> Dang, Tantro's all kinds of screwed up. <laughs> Gonna try to hold her hand. Oh, he's still fucking conscious. He's gonna hold his hand. This is what makes Tanjiro such a good character. My god. This is why, like, this, this is why Tanjiro is such a good main character. Especially for a shonen like this. Absolutely fantastic of a main character. He makes this show so much good, better.
Uh, I ain't crying. Who's cutting those goddamn... Who's kind of those fucking ninjas are cutting some onions around here, man? Just like got some like you know eyelashes in my eyes. Ah. <laughs> uh. Now I can tell, now I can see why people thought this was a beautiful episode. It's still as cold, cold hard as ever. But I mean, that's, that's part of his character, so... Yeah, because he can tell. I still think that one's probably the most, like, that was the best. Um, what was that, episode 18? Or 17? 17, it was episode 17, because 18 was the one with the father. Episode 17, that scene, was probably the most beautiful. Oh, yep. Shinobu. She's, she's trying to attack. I knew I knew Shinobu. I knew Shinobu. Because Shinobu don't know. <laughs> He's protecting a demon. Oh. Evil demon. That's what it says on her sword. <laughs> I do feel like, like, I, even though she's fucking crazy or she fucking scary, I feel like I'm gonna like Shinobu later on. Fortunately, we only have seven more episodes. Oh, that's right. Because of the cocoon, it was also dissolving his hair, right? Is that the same guy? No, maybe. I don't know. I'm guessing, like, this is, like, her, like, sub-corpse, like, her corpse. Her own, like, little posse? Can't, I can't think of the right word, but you know what I mean. Hmm. wonder why they're wrapping up the body. Well, wrapping up, you know, from the, basically, the entire body. Maybe they're not allowed to move. So that it's almost like a binding. I'm I'm liking this a little comedy back and forth. I'm I'm liking this a little. I'll make it painless. Uh. Can she, like, freely change the poisons in her blade? That's fucking brutal. It's actually kind of cool if that's the case. By the way, I'm still waiting for freaking, like, if if she's going to be, like, be able to talk to... Ah, uh, so... 
Gyu was the one who broke the rules. Technically, also. Tanjiro. But he's been doing that the entire time. What's in the box? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm I'm actually surprised they're so... Oh, Yu's been breathing. Wait a second. Breathing to make you stronger? What is this, a JoJo reference? <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, technically, Hamon. Oh, she got past him. No, that was not... Who was that? It's a, it was a girl with a skirt. I'm assuming it's a girl because it's a skirt, but I mean... I've been fooled before looking at you, Astolfo. Anyways. Is, is it the other girl? I'm thinking it's that girl from the final selection. Total guess. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. But that's the one who was trailing them. What if she just fell right and like landed right on a tree? That would have been hilarious. Oh yeah! Inosuke! Surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> it is her! I was right! It's been a while. What has it been? You know, like almost like, you know, 17 episodes, I think. Something like that. I'm bad at math, even though I'm Asian. And the same freaking smile. <laughs> oh my gosh! What? Is that how she can fit in the box? <laughs> she shrieked. She actually shrieked. What? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> it started just she's just so small. <laughs> no, I'm just giving you a very awkward hug on the side. <laughs> she's like, yeah, freaking she, she Even the crows are like, uh I don't know. Good question. It's been two years. <laughs> you know, it was a Drizzly Tuesday about two years ago. <laughs> now you brought it up again. Oh no! I knew this was gonna happen. Hmm. Well, they're not, he's like, oh, man, I guess he, like, because they're like, oh, well, you're not trying to kill him, though, then, oh, shit. Okay, so my prediction is it's going to end with them... Well, they're going to get arrested, but they're going to go... Oh, yeah, he's knocked out, so he's... Hmm. I'm guessing they're, they're going to... It's going to end with the episode with them going to the corpse. Oh!
I'm still thinking that him and uh, Shinobu might be slightly related simply because of their same hair. Couldn't even talk. Oh, he's just so, he just so, he just lost in his own thought. He's gonna clench his fist. Hmm. <laughs> She was part of the fight. Yep. There's still one more of that Bakugo looking ass, bitch. Oh, so it's full on, like, subgroup. Yeah, that's actually a good question. That makes a lot of sense. Mmm. So they're like the medics. That actually makes a lot of sense. I wonder if, Te if Nezuko is going to be allowed. Hmm, maybe. I was about to say. Is she in the box? Okay. Man, things are gonna get spicy. Okay, so now th this is the corpse. I remember seeing, like, them... It, how it was, like, a really serene-looking place. Oh, that's that, um... Those are those flowers that were right in my face. And I was like, ah, I think that's something... Yeah. I don't know who that is. Okay, yeah, I, I was like, that's not one of the characters doing. Right. Hashiras. Oh, I knew that's how we're gonna end the episode. God damn it! <laughs> I, I I just knew it. All right, man, that's a lot to process in that episode. So. Like, the, the higher-ups had to have known that Tanjiro was basically housing a demon, right? No, no, actually that makes a lot of sense that he's not, because only really Giyu knew Nezuko was never shown throughout the final selection so there was no official things the only thing that was probably would been would have been able to communicate that would have been the crows so how did they find out now so maybe one of the crows said something to hq and then it relayed the message maybe it's the only thing i can think of because mm, that's the only thing like that would piece that together i guess But, we'll see what happens. I'm really curious as to what's going to happen next. Because I feel like it's going to get a little dicey. Alright. Ding. <laughs> I love, like, I love how they always have like, a smile on their face. Like, maybe it's to hide their true intentions. Master of the mansion. So we're probably gonna see like the head honcho, the big boss. That's my guess. Oh man, it's gonna get really dicey. I want to see how they're going to do this. My guess is they're going. He has to basically prove that Nezuko is not a threat, 
and that she doesn't eat humans, and the ray and the way she stores up and gathers energy is by sleeping instead of eating. Um, that she is a completely odd oddity in their case that they at least have uh, came across or encountered. That is my prediction, and that's how I see them trying to basically be like, "Hey, she's okay. It's all good. Don't kill her. Don't fucking kill her. She's she 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 likes to fucking fuck things up too." But and she technically is an could be an anti demon because she can kind uh, she can do some stuff to like some demons and fuck them up too. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I do apologize again for being a little bit late. But yeah, uh, enjoyed this episode. It was definitely a be beautiful episode, especially with the whole Rui thing. Even though he, that, that guy was a piece of shit, man, it made me feel for him a little bit. Still deserve to die though. So yeah. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.